Jez being honored for his service in World War II when he fought German pilots in the skies over Europe. This is really a great story. The Museum of Aviation says Eugene Bullard was the world's first black fighter pilot. He was born not far from where his statue now stands. He ran away from home and he hid on a ship that was headed for Scotland and eventually made his way to France. And then he joined the French Foreign Legion during World War I. He started in the infantry and then he became a combat pilot. And he ended up being known as the Black Swallow of Death. The example that he set is it should be a motivational point saying being that you can actually be and do whatever you decide that you want to do in life. And you cannot allow society in itself to oppress you and stop you from doing whatever you, try, whatever you choose to do in life. And we really appreciate his service. Look at that unveiling there, that statue. During his career, by the way, he received multiple awards. Nearly two dozen members of Bullard's family came out for that unveiling, along with Air Force officers and several surviving members of the Tuskegee Airmen. In the Way 31 Storm Tracker Weather Center, meteorologist Rob Elbington. Hearing that just motivates you. Yeah. When